Rita Saikali, and today is Saturday, June 29th. All right, so today's gospel, there are lots of things that we can see in today's gospel, which is really Jesus asking, who do you think that I am? Who do people think that I am? Who do you think that I am? And uh, Peter says, you are the son of God. Uh, but I really love the way Jesus responds back to, um, to Peter. He says, Simon, son of Jonah. Um, so you tell him, yes, you did not reveal this by yourself. God gave this to you. But he addresses him as Simon, son of Jonah. And I thought that was really cool because he looks at Peter and he says, this is who you are. This is where you come from. And it kind of leads, you know, it leads us to reflect on where we are or who we are, where we come from and how our parents passed on Jesus' teaching to us and how it's also our responsibility to pass on this future teaching to our uh, children, to our grandchildren, to whatever it is, the situation, everyone around us. But it's really cool to think Simon, son of Jonah, Rita, daughter of Ayub, right? So who am I? Where did my faith come from? It started at home. Just like Peter's faith in God before knowing Jesus, right? His teaching about Judaism came from somewhere. Where did it come from? From the house of Jonah. Where did my teachings about Jesus come from? From the house of Ayub, from my family. And don't worry about your kids as well. If this is something you are preoccupied with, um, give to God and he will change everything. Trust him. Tell your kids about Jesus and they will grow up knowing who he is. Now think about it this way. If I don't pass on what I know to my, uh, to my kids, then how will they know? Right? We often have this currently like this mentality like, oh, they'll figure it out on their own. They have freedom to choose. Well, okay, great, great, fine. You want them to choose, that's amazing. But how would they choose if they do not know the option? So one of the problems that I ran into recently, I had this 17 year old kid um, ask me, we're talking about Easter and I'm like, hey, do you celebrate Easter? And he says, um, no, I'm like, why? And he says, yeah, well, my cousins and I are too old to pick up eggs. And I'm like, sweetheart, what, what do you think Easter is about? And he says, eggs. I'm like, okay, uh, before I answer you, do you know what Christmas is about? He's like, yeah, um, like doing good and receiving gifts and stuff like that. I'm like, what? I'm, I'm sorry, what did you? Okay, you really don't know what Christmas is about? You really don't know that Christmas is Jesus' birthday? Um, and that Easter is the resurrection of Jesus? If you don't tell your kids about God, they will not know about him. They're not being told in schools. They're not being told in society. If you do not tell them, tell them no one will. Cool? So, so that when Jesus asks, who do you think that I am? Uh, we can reply like, like Peter did and say, uh, you are the son of God. And Jesus can look back at us and say, Simon, son of Jonah, you're right. So that fill in the blanks, so-and-so, son of so-and-so, you are right. All right, so let's, let's pray. Uh, Jesus, give us the strength to know you and to recognize you and to tell our families about you uh, so that as these kids grow up, they're not lost and confused and dazed about who you are because of the, what the world knows that tells them, but they know you despite of what everyone around them is saying. Even though they still say uh, Jesus is a prophet or he was a good man or all these things, society still says the same thing. But Jesus still asks us, his disciples, who do you say that I am? So Jesus, give us the strength to answer like Peter did. Amen.